and welcome back to another episode of Total Control with SD Wesker. Probably about the best place we've been in throughout this entire save is where we find ourselves right now. Back-to-back -back wins for the first time in this entire save, just when things were starting to look like they were going off the boil. Admittedly, in there, I think it was the Rayo Viacano and the Celta Vigo results that really got me. Like A defeat that maybe was definitely, I think we deserved to lose against Viacano, but the Celta one, it just, I thought, oh god, it's all coming back. And then obviously with Barcelona compounding that, but that 2-0 victory against Levante seemed to galvanise us. The 4-0 friendly win obviously was there to just boost the morale, and we really did carry that into a somewhat fortunate victory away at Espanyol. I know we created the, the lion's share of the opportunities in that game, but I still feel like we were very fortunate uh, in a way, although admittedly the only chance, like, their goal was a free kick. They didn't create a great deal of actual opportunity but still, they still had a lot of shots, and sometimes that's all you need in games. But the thing is, we're still creating concrete, high-quality chances, and I think that's really what we need to stay in the league. Still not super pleased with the way Hernandez performed in that one. Like, for all the bluster about how great he could be, he has actually only scored for us in one match, which was the Getafe game, so hopefully he can rekindle his form. Now, I think, with the way we're set up right now, we've got 13 matches to go, 21 points. Now, we're only one point from safety, but I still believe that we need to get to about 35, 36 points in order to sort of hopefully stay up based on the way things are going at the moment. So I've earmarked basically 15 points needed from our final 13 matches. And it's basically a case of where are we going to get those points from? So I've had a little look off camera at the remaining fixtures and I've earmarked essentially games where we need to win. So obviously we need to win all of them, but that ain't going to happen. So Valladolid at home must win. They're 19th. Leganes at home must win. They're both of our rivals down at the bottom. Those are two huge matches where we really should be massive favourites for them. Those must win. Betis, right down there with us again, should be winning that one as well. We have to, really. And even, frankly, Alavés. Mid-table, these are the kind of home matches that we've definitely got to earmark as victories or put down as these are the games we must get three points from. So that would account for 12 points. So we basically need to get another three points or so from the other nine matches. So there's a few home games in there, you know, potentially winnable ones. Villarreal, good side, but we are at home still. Tough one away at Sevilla. Very unlikely to get anything there. Valencia, very, very tough away from home. But we're going to try and be conservative there. Ibar away from home. You never know what we can come up with there. Sociedad at home. We put in a good performance against them away. So you never know what we could do there. Atletico and Real Madrid. No chance. But then, Hatafe and Girona, both away from home. There's good chances for us to get some points in those games too. So I still think we're in with a chance of staying up. And honestly, if we pull this off and stay up, I would be happily to count this as the greatest achievement I've ever had on an FM save. To be that far adrift. Um, particularly when... I had to figure this all out on the fly, but I think that's really, really helped in all honesty. And I really do think that now that we've sorted it, we can have a really good second half of the season, but it could still still go wrong. You know, if we were to lose today against Villarreal, which I feel like we might, then things could go wrong. But if we were to win this one, I'd be right, this is where we're at. But let's cross that bridge when we inevitably come to it. So first off, press conference after the last game. What a comeback. And that's really nice to us also, to see us come from behind in a game and actually come back and win points. Dynamics, the team cohesion is now really starting to move into the good, and that gives you a nice little boost too. Team's collective mental state has seen a slight improvement, generally improved player positioning during matches, and slight improvement in their vision and reactions to events unfolding. That's really, really important to get this up towards the end of the year. It's taken a long time, but we've really fought against it, and for a club to be in a relegation battle, and to have this level of cohesion, atmosphere, and managerial support, to me is purely down to the additional stuff that we wouldn't I wouldn't be paying attention to. But I do very much want to uh, take a little look-see at the training because today, that's fine. We're going to have a rest day. That's fine. But we've got Villarreal at the weekend. I want to not overdo things because we've got Monday and then Friday. But I do want to take out the defending wide instruction and put in our attacking movement training just to give it a nice easy one here. But we can bring in some more stuff here. So as usual, chance conversion. I'm going to keep drumming that into the players all season because we're fine at creating them. It's just the putting of the chances away, you know? And I'm also going to dump in a bit of extra set piece training here. So it is going to be two sessions on this day here, which is a fair amount, but we've got a nice rest day the day after, so it's not too bad. Um, as for this stuff here, I'm okay with that for now, just for this week. Training happiness. Ah, I was looking for this menu and I've not been able to find it for ages. Uh, been unhappy with the low level of general training. Had been unhappy. Okay, so we want... Um, thinks we could do more quickness training. Okay, that's fine. Because I think that his training is super important. So he wants more quickness. And we've got an additional focus here we can definitely allow. So why the hell not give him a little bit of extra fitness training in that might well help him uh, perform better in training. And maybe that's one of the reasons he's not performed quite so well in matches. Because at one point, I swear he was training really well. Dropped off a little bit. Hopefully, we can bring him back for the rest of the season. But paying attention to these little things. Again, it's like Tesco's. Error little helps. Jovanovic and Juanpi, both in Team of the Week. Very nice. Oh, this is a big one. Valladolid hosting Leganes. A win here for Valladolid. A draw would be kind of the best result. Although, in all honesty, I wouldn't mind it if Leganes went and won this because I don't think it, I think they're done anyway. But they have lost, and now via the lead, have escaped the relegation zone. But we do have two games in hand on them now. 
their form over the last five matches has actually been pretty solid as well. Eight points from their last five games. Betis have got five points from the last five games, and we've got six. So the bottom sides are really starting to get some form together now, as usual. Um, but at least we're right in the battle now. Two points from safety, fair enough. But we have two games in hand on Valladolid, and a game in hand on Girona. And it also, I think, completely compounds the misery on Laganes now. They are completely done. 11 points from safety. Sure, they've got four games in hand there, but they're done. So we can kind of discount them for the rest of the season, which could help us when we play them, because we've got to play them at home. So watch us muck that up. My plan is going to be um, positive performances in terms of mentality at home against every side outside of the big, big teams, and then cautious away from home against everybody else to sort of play our way into the games. Yes, definitely carry it on. Carry on that form. But their manager, Bielsa, of all people, interesting, has just won manager of the month. And Leganes are playing via Cano this weekend as well. So more opportunities to lose against teams down there. They are doomed, pure and simple. And they've got it. Hatafe are absolutely awful at the moment. And are continuing to slide down the league, getting closer and closer to us when you look at their form over the last five matches. But we need to keep on putting the pressure on. Ocapo's training performance this year, this week has definitely been better. It was 7.15 before. Now that he's got some quickness, uh, he does seem to have been performing a little bit better. So that could help. Right, let's get our brief on. Um, well, we know what to do. Ignore this, because they just do not care. Hit early crosses. Go on. Yeah. Low crosses. All right. Counter. Go on. Nope. But they do like high line of engagement usually. Yep. And preventing short goalkeeper distribution? Not so much, but everybody across the board is happy. So there are some games before ours. We've got Girona playing Deportivo. A Deportivo win there would be very nice. That's a one-all draw. So again, Girona not exactly pulling up any trees at the moment, which is, you know, that's a, an eminently winnable game for them and they've buggered it up again. Javi Galan's probably not going to be able to start this one. Um, his condition just is not there, unfortunately, which is a shame, but because he's been really good form, to be honest. But what can we do? So with that in mind... Uh, there is no way in hell he's starting today, but that's fine. Alex Gaillard, he's done all right this season. He's just not quite on that level at the moment. So everybody else, though, I'm completely happy to keep the team unchanged, to be honest. Um, the morale is extremely good in certain players, and it's definitely all right for most people, which is, is fantastic. I'm going to persist with Hernandez up top for now, because I feel like maybe once he gets a goal, he can get some confidence going again. On the bench, Mango, Walker Peters, Willock, Woodburn, Costas, Musto, and of course, Tate Chong. Right, let's see what they're going to do. Same sort of setup as us. Deep line playmaker, defensive midfielder, complete wing backs on both sides. So they're fairly an attacking side, but they do have wingers and not inside forwards. As far as analysis goes, they beat Betis 4 0, and Moreno scored grabbed himself a pair. Bruno scored a free kick against us earlier this season, that much we do know. Heavily focusing on the right-hand side with Zinchenko. They actually concede from corners heavily. That's very interesting. Good with positioning. Goalkeepers are good. Not great at crossing. Not great at dribbling either. They're missing Bruno, Gaspar, and Victor Ruiz. That's big, genuinely. Just looking at the formations faced, they are particularly good and bad against this type of system really like they concede a lot of chances but they also create a lot of chances because they face this system quite a lot it would seem but it does seem that even against lower rated size they tend to give up a decent number of chances so i think this is one of these games where in fact look at this when they play this system themselves they actually concede more chances than they give up uh, sorry than they create against lower rated teams we are one of those so hmm. so with that in mind moreno is the top goal scorer that much is obvious as for assists that gaspar and pedraza so gaspar isn't going to be playing pedraza creates a lot i think pedraza is the man to go after uh we're going to stop go pressing four now so we're going to go after trigueros they also want us to go in hard on alvaro interestingly who's a center back but sure keep things relatively simple i don't want to leave zinchenko we, we might have to play it by ear on zinchenko but i think pedraza seems to be their most dangerous player for now he's only got five assists but he's also a good dribbler of the ball zinchenko's a dangerous man too but we don't want to overdo it maybe just letting jose Angel be a bit more free form against zinchenko we'll maybe mark him a bit tighter if he starts to dominate the match but if not then we'll just leave it to pedraza for now home game big chance for us here particularly if they're weak from corners because we scored a couple of corners this season we've got a few right let's have this like, it's nice to be on the back of a couple of wins, but with Valladolid also doing pretty well at the moment, albeit against worse opposition, we're still under a lot of pressure, but at least a little bit less pressure than we could have been because we've actually got a few good matches under our belt. We're not completely cut adrift from the relegation zone right now. We have slowly, over time, over the period of, what, 15 matches now, we've worked our way back up into a decent spot. So in the 15 games that we've played since we finally won a point, we've gained 21 points from 15 matches, which is pretty damn good to be honest and straight through for Quampy. you can't quite get on the end of it but it's a really positive start there and it's gonna be tough though they're a decent top half team but we are at home and that's usually where we're pretty strong like our home form is fantastic since we switched things over tactically we've only lost one home match and hell 
Cleared. Malero can knock this down for someone. Find Swampy. Oh, if he could have cut inside there and found a shot. Torre! Good save from Asensio. We tested him early. Echetta gets through, though. Torre looks at Wi-Fi Gayar. Can he find a ball over the top for Hernandez, perhaps? He has, you know. Hernandez! I'm sorry, mate. You've got to score. Or at least have a shot there. He's He actually made the run. So I'll give him credit for actually making the run. But, like, that's about as good a pass as he was going to get from Gaillard there. And he still didn't get the shot away. Go on, Gaillard. Hit another one. You know you want to. He's got to make that run into the channel. And Gaillard's just keeping on going here. Ball across. Whampy! Oh, we look dangerous against them. I can see what they mean about giving up chances. Going to just have them press Alvaro. Because it does seem that that's their... That's Asensio's constant out ball. Should we go for the free kick from range? Jovanovic makes a stop. It's their first shot of the game. Not a lot of shots for either side, really. This game is interestingly poised at the moment. Gaia, win us another corner, lad. Oh, all the way through. Wampy. Oh, no. If he brings that down, there might be a chance. Torre. Amadou. Oh, use the edge here. And then around. Jose Angel. Go on, lad. Get that ball in. And, oh, what a brilliant block that was. Wampy got into a great position. They've given up a chance. I think we're, they've had one shot, and it was from a free kick. Wampy's ball. In Suez header, and it's well saved by Asensio. Brilliant stuff, and it's a free kick, actually, in the end. Putting a little bit more pressure on him, maybe. Just making him play the ball a bit faster. Echeta. Jovanovic. Lots of room for Insua now. Oh, lovely stuff. Bit more space now coming. Go on, lad. Make that run for us. Finds Hernandez. And it's going to be out for another call. He's just not quite... I want him... Hmm. Unfortunately, he moves into channels. I'm going to try putting him back to a poacher. I just feel like he's not doing a lot in the current position he's in. Torre! Oh, and Hernandez bashes one again there. We're looking like the better side so far, I have to say. But I want to see if... The problem is, as an, as an advanced forward, he's better in the build-up for us. Like, undoubtedly. He does get involved in the build-up a lot more. But my problem is, when we want him to be getting those runs in behind, he's just not doing it. Excellent first-half performance against a really decent Villarreal side. Massively the better side right now. Um, creating shots, chances. They've created one long-range free kick. That's it. But you can see the path of least... Like, I wonder... If, honestly, marking up their number three here with a striker and just putting him on him isn't the end, isn't the worst idea here. Because he does seem to be completely... That's their entire method, it would seem. I feel like this is the kind of game that's there for us to win if we can just find the right moment, you know? Jugueros. Pedraza. Pedraza's been pretty quiet so far, but don't let him come through here if you could. Gerard. Ibora. It's Cheta. Oh, my God. Right, that's actually not bad. It just sucks them in a little bit. Gaia. Go on, lad. Put that ball in behind. He's found it. Hernandez. Oh, that is sensational. That is sensational. Juan Hernandez, what a moment. That, right there, is what I wanted. He got into a good position. He wasn't, but, like, the problem is before, he would have been sort of, he'd have been staying in this kind of position rather than actually making a run. Although, admittedly, he doesn't do a great job. I mean, he still gets into the space, which is the main thing. Wonderful first touch, and his second touch is a beautiful finish for 1-0. That is perfect. If we win this one as well, beautiful. They've just changed their system, though. They're going 4-2-4 four, four, with nobody basically, in the centre of midfield with DMs. So this is going to get very, very interesting, is all I can really say. I don't really want to go to cautious here because I feel like there could be an opportunity for us. Alvaro, under a lot more pressure there. That's what, that's what I like it. Oh my God, if we come up with a 1-0 victory over Villarreal, this would really be the start of something amazing, hopefully. Jose Angel digs one in. Hernandez, Malero, that's more like it. He's sitting in a much better position now and it's come out away for a capo. Ball across. Gaia over the crossbar. That should have been on target. Like They've done nothing in this match to deserve anything so far. We've been the better side. We've got the lead, but we've got to be careful because they are going to bomb forward. But there's surely going to be spaces. Three of their four shots have been from... Oh, my God. Get it out wide. Oh, they're going to let Gaia bring it down. Here we go. They've actually allowed him to bring that ball out the air. Jose Angel, go on. You've got to. Find a back post ball. Finds Torre. Oh, what on earth was that? Amadou does a great job of covering for him there, though. Torre, back out for Jose Angel. Win us a corner or something. Willock! Oh, what a brilliant header that was from Joe Willock. Very nearly a goal. Ivanovic looks out wide for Chong, and he's going to be able to bring that down. No problem there. A capo. Chong is a bit taller than Wamp. He's got more of a physical presence. Toure. Willock. Space opening up on the left-hand side. Jose Angel. Go on, win us a corner. Finds Chong. Oh, beautiful. Tathid Chong. First goal for Wesker. And we lead by two goals to nil. Over ninth or tenth at the moment. Place Villarreal. This is looking like we've got... We're cooking on gas now, lads. Willock. Great ball out for Jose Angel. But this is a glorious ball across. And Chong. Beautiful first time. Left-footed shot. First goal for the club. 2-0 up. 20 minutes to go. Come on. I think this is one of those if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of situations. 2-0 lead now. Gives us a little bit of leeway particularly if they were to keep pushing at us. And as things stand, we would move out of the relegation zone for the first time since literally match day three, I think it would be. We've been in the in the relegation zone for 23 matches and we would move out of it with a win right now. Admittedly, probably only temporarily because Betis are probably going to play a game too. Pedraza, 
and it's over the crossbar. But we move on to 24 points. I think we thoroughly deserve this. It's been a really solid professional performance from everybody involved. Do not let them have a goal. Beautiful defending again. We've created the chances. We've limited them to literally nothing. Deflected out. Right, I think now might be the time to move to cautious. Just be a little bit more sensible when throwing players forward. I'm pleased with Hernandez's performance in the fact that he actually did, you know, make the run, get the goal. You know, he scored the winner, essentially, as things stand. But I'm going to get Mango on for that extra pace in behind for the final sort of 12 minutes of this match. See if we can't hit one over the top for him. Jose Angel, as well, has put in an absolute st donking performance tonight the assist but he was good before the assist and he was good in the last game too Echeta whip one forward Mango's not going to win that is he he sort of did to Gerosh Zinchenko show me that fight show me that desire to keep this victory and get a clean sheet too I wouldn't I want a clean sheet as well that's what really matters in some ways oh Chong here we go beautiful Chong just keep on running mate Mango needs to make this run behind him now he does Mango's not gonna be able to get the shot away from here he might great save from the goalkeeper and Mango with an Brilliant opportunity there. Maybe lack the composure a tiny bit. We're in a really good spot right now. Bust yourself to get forward here. Over the top for Mango. He's in. He's not going to be able to find much from it, but he's won us a corner, and that could be so, so important. They're going to leave a ton of players up, I expect. Oh, only two. Alex Gaillard. And they are weak from set pieces. Gaillard's ball. And in Sewer's header. Oh, it's in the back of the net, and Pablo Insua puts it in, and we're 3-0 up. Wesker 3, Villarreal 0. This is more like it. That was super fortunate. I'm pretty certain he heads this against the post and then it comes down and he's headed it in. The initial header is brilliant. It comes down to him and the goalkeeper, I don't know what the goalkeeper's doing there. He doesn't challenge for it. And in Sewer scored his fourth of the year and we are in dreamland. It's going to be three straight victories. It's going to be a 3-0 victory against the top half team. This was not one of the games I had earmarked for us to potentially use to stay up. But at the moment, we're going to be out of the relegation zone for the first time since match day three. Come on. Well, here we go. Toro for the free kick. Drink that in. Wesker 3, Villarreal 0. At half time, we had the balance of the game beautifully, but we still need to kick on. In the second half, we did. Hernandez, Chong, and Insua's goals give us the victory. And most importantly, move us up to 17th place in the league with a game in hand on Valladolid, who are directly below us. And we still have to play them at home. Batiste as well slumped down to 19th in the league. We now have to play all three of the teams that are below us in home matches. That could be the difference, really. If we win all three of those, I think we survive. And at the moment, we are surviving. We are a point clear of the relegation zone. Come on. I can't believe the turnaround. 16 matches, we've gained 24 points. And that is the absolute zenith right now. Huge. And the morale is enormous after that. Great performances all around. But it's great to see Hernandez score the goal. He scored the winner. I've got to give him full credit for that. Still did a little... And that was, interestingly, with him playing as a poacher. He just did the job beautifully. Um, it really did make a difference for us because that's what we changed at half time was making that striker roll into a poacher and we scored three goals since then so might not work all the time but it certainly worked in this game and another defeat there for Laganes now drops them to 12 points from safety they're done we've got double the amount of points that they've got they've lost another game of Viacano now moving pretty close to being completely clear of the relegation zone at this point um, I think what's really saved us is the fact that we've scored 32 times this season, which actually puts us sort of there in the mid-table of goal scoring. There's teams down there that cannot score goals to save their lives. It is very much on, and that makes for some delightful reading. Three consecutive league victories and two clean sheets in there as well. We've scored a decent amount of goals, seven goals with only one conceded there. It's beautiful. Next up, sure, tough one away at Sevilla. We're going to go out there, play a cautious style, and see what we're capable of coming up with against Sevilla away from home. This one actually does feel li like the pressure's off, which is beautiful for us. Um, Amadou can't play, so we better hope that Musto's fit again. And then after that, though, Valladolid, the massive, massive game. We win that, and we're in real good shape. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, and I really hope you have, drop a like. That'll be gorgeous. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.